This question says, if Matt is choosing between the red onion and a burger place tonight, and his preferences satisfy the standard assumptions about consumer behavior, which will he choose? Well, the question told us that a red onion meal costs $20, a burger place meal costs $4, a red onion meal was just as good or equal to five more bento meals, and a burger place meal was just as good as 0.5 bento meals or half of a bento meal. There's two ways we can solve this. This first way, where we put our cost divided by our value, we want to choose the smaller number because this is saying, how much does it cost for the next unit of utility or value? Well, we'd want to choose the way, the restaurant that was cheaper to get our next unit of utility. So let's analyze this. We have red onion, $20 divided by five units of utility. Is it less than, equal to, or greater than the burger place? $4 divided by 0.5 units of utility. We do the algebra and we see that the red onion will cost us $4 for our next unit of utility, which is less than the burger place, which will cost us $8 for our next unit of utility. So we choose the red onion. The other way is not gonna change our answer at all, but we wanna talk about what this way means. When it's value divided by cost, we wanna choose the bigger number because that's saying, how much value do we get for the next dollar spent? Well, we want to choose the bigger number, obviously, because we'll get more bang for buck. So five, five units of utility divided by $20, is it less than, equal to, or greater than? 0.5 units of utility divided by $4. It's no surprise that we're going to choose the red onion again, because our numbers haven't changed. But it does help to work it out. We get 0.25 units of utility for our next dollar spent is greater than the 0.125 units of utility for the next dollar spent. So both these cases, we're gonna choose the red onion. So you just wanna make sure that you understand which, what each form means.